What's goody, what's goody? What's going on to my kings and queens that's out there watching? What's up? It says some of everything, and y'all already know I'm giving y'all some of this and some of that. And today's video, we're going to be talking about my weight loss journey and how I got started because people be hitting me up asking and they want to know how did I do it. I don't want to be doing like a 20-minute video boring, y'all, but with my weight loss journey, it always been something that has been difficult to do. And I'm not going to lie, weight loss is so difficult. And I mean, this has been the most hardest journey ever. Like, weight loss is serious because the thing about it is, is about starting. That was my thing. Like, I always used to think about it and was like, you know what? I'm going to start this day. I'm going to start that day. My best friend, no lie, true story, she sent me a picture. The picture that she sent me was I was in front of Golden Corral. Everybody know about Golden Corral. I was in front of Golden Corral, right? So I looked at the picture. I mean, in the picture, no lie, I feel like I was about to bust. And I looked at that picture, I was like, dang, I'm looking at myself. I'm like, you know what? I was like, nah, like you need to tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to, you know, what's like, what's going on with you? And it's like, at that time I was going through, you know, I would say not only depression, just different things, just life in general, just, you know, taking a toll on me. And it's like, I became an emotional eater. So, you know, I pretty much didn't eat like food, like solid foods. I was eating more snacks. I mean, from like Debbie cakes, M&Ms, anything you can name, I was eating it. You know, I really didn't care what I put in my mouth. I wasn't caring about if it had this amount of calories and all of that. But like I said, if it weren't for my best friend sending that picture, I mean, I felt like that picture was sent for a reason. And I'm being so honest. But after that picture, that picture was taken on a Saturday. No lie. The next day, Sunday, I signed up for the gym. I signed up. Like, if I keep telling myself that I'm going to start this day and that day, I'm not going to never start. So I did it on impulse. And that was around 2014, 2015 that I started my journey, you know, slowly but shortly. But um, that's pretty much how I got started with my weight loss. And I'm actually on my second journey of my weight loss, meaning... I hit my goal pretty much the first time around, but what happened, I plateaued, meaning that I was so strict on my diet to the point that I didn't enjoy the journey. You know, I was enjoying the journey, but it was like I was so cautious with everything I ate because I was using my fitness pal. And with my fitness pal, I calculated everything from the sauces. I calculated the slice of bread and, you know, things like that. But I feel like with this journey that I am on now, I am strict, but at the same time, I engage. Like, if I want some fries, I get fries, you know? So I don't, like, hold myself hostage as if, like, I can't eat anything and I can't eat certain stuff. So with this journey, like I said, I'm making it more fun. I'm embracing the journey. I'm enjoying the journey. I'm working out at home. I'm working out at the gym. I'm working out at the park. So it's like I'm incorporating so many different things, and it's allowing me to be able to enjoy this lifestyle instead of becoming so strict as if like I can't do anything like I'm in a tight fit like oh I can't eat this I can't eat that so that that's what makes a difference from the previous time on my weight loss until now so I mean that's pretty much how I got started and um the reason why I wanted to do weight loss and get into weight loss in general because it's the natural energy that I have you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm able to get up sometimes without even my alarm going off. So it's like, it's always that feeling. So it's like, once I felt that feeling that I never felt before, I'm like, you know what? I got to keep this up, you know? And I feel as if, like, the gym is like therapy to me. So it's like, if I had a long day at work or just daily things that I'm going through or things like that, I go to the gym. After I leave the gym, it's like it never happened, you know? So pretty much that's how I got started. For anybody that's out there that is on this journey and you need that encouragement I mean definitely keep that self-motivation like you have to have that self-motivation and that's what I had to learn with this journey because when I first started I didn't have anyone it was actually people that were saying like oh you know we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna do this and do that so it was like at first I was kind of counting on them to go with them but then I was just like you know what if there's something that you want to do you got to do it this journey it's been um, an emotional roller coaster because all I had was myself. So I had to have that self-motivation. So like I told people, 
it came with a lot of research, a lot of different questions that I asked. Like when I was at the gym, I asked trainers certain things, different people I come across, I would ask them certain questions like, you know, what to do to get rid of this, what to do to get rid of that. So it was like, I always was open to learning, you know, when it comes to weight loss as far as calories and et cetera. So like I said, when it comes to weight loss, you have to have that self-motivation. You have to have that determination and you have to sacrifice. Weight loss is all about sacrificing. So if you want to go home and you just want to relax, you got to think about, you know what, I can be watching TV for an hour, but you know what, let me go outside and, you know, walk for an hour. You know, let me go to the gym and do some cardio for hours. So definitely with weight loss, it's all about sacrifice. Something that you have to get rid of in order to do what you got to do to reach your goal. So, I mean, like I said, I didn't want to keep y'all too long. I just want to just give y'all a little, you know, a little summary of how everything got started and how I am on this journey of weight loss, which is a lifestyle that I turned it into. So, I mean, like I said, if you guys have any questions or concerns, it's always y'all feel free. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like a person that won't be like, oh, I can't talk to you or anything like that. Like I'm very laid back. I'm very chill. So like I said, y'all got this on this weight loss journey. I done been there. I'm still on this weight loss journey. It is still difficult. You know, I have my days that I don't even want to work out, but you know what? I push through and I got to do what I got to do. So, I mean, y'all stay motivated. Y'all got this. Take it one pound at a time. You know, that's all one pound at a time. And um, with that being said, peace, love, and light. And guess what? I'm out. Boom.